Welcome everybody to Objective C for Absolute Beginners. Tonight we're going to be covering chapter 10 and discussing how to start creating user interfaces. For those of you that are attending live and not on the YouTube, please raise your hand in the GoToWebinar control panel so I can uh, ensure that I have everything configured correctly. All right. Well, great. Good to have you. For those of you that are attending um, live, I'll be happy to answer your questions at the end of our 10 minute session tonight on creating user interfaces. For those of you that are attending on the YouTube, if you go to my website at excelme.com, click on the free videos, you can um, see what the classes are coming up are. And um, this gets updated every month. So we're going to be talking about user interfaces uh, both on this class on March 28th today and on April 11th we'll be going on because there's just so much to talk about with user interfaces and then the rest of the chapters um, as well and then the previous recordings are here um, the links to the YouTube my YouTube channel with the sessions as well as um, if you do want to attend live just click on this right here and you can um, uh, get a go to webinar invite so you can attend live and if you're listening to the recordings make sure on YouTube you subscribe to my channel and you will be able to um, get updates whenever I upload a video and then for those of you that are in my classes next month we will be starting our iPhone iOS SDK course number two and I'm sorry course number one and that will be starting on April 9th this guy right here. We just finished up our Cocoa Touch class tonight. So anyway, let's get started. All right, so what's nice about Xcode is when we want to create an iOS project and assuming that you have, um, you know, uh, pay or downloaded the iPhone SDK, you have access to basically all the controls that you need to write your application. And we're just going to go ahead and start with a single view application tonight. And um, let's call this UI, Gary. And it's an iPhone. We're not going to use storyboards. We have a whole session on that as it is. And we'll hit create. And I also noticed that there's a new version of Xcode that just came out this week. I have not downloaded, but I'll download it for our next session and give you a rundown uh, on what's changed on that. Um, I've downloaded on my laptop. Um, looks like there's some nice changes with one stability and two with uh, converting your applications to ARC. All right, the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up your, your nib file. Um, it's always pronounced NIB, Nancy Indigo Bravo, as opposed to X-Ray Indigo Bravo, because that's the way they've always been talked, uh, been referenced by before they went to XML. But here we got kind of a clean slate. And when we click on our view, we can go ahead and select our controls here, assuming we have this uh, button selected. This brings up um, all of our resources here and allows us to uh, modify our nib, our utilities. And here we have, let's we'll add a label and a button. And just kind of connect them up. Now what's great about iOS 5 is it saves you a lot of coding. I'm going to go ahead and dismiss my utilities panel and I'm going to go ahead and bring up my lovely assistant here, the assistant editor. I'm going to click on that and that's going to bring up, um, that's going to go ahead and bring up my header file. And now before in the old days we'd have to type in our outlets and remember to do our property synthesized for the getters and setters for our IVARs and then do the same thing for our um, our methods and our actions but here we can just do a control click and drag from our doing a control click from our label over to um, our, our header file and add our outlet and I'm just gonna say um, my text or my label here and it's a UI label and we're going to do strong and that is an outlet so that is good and now let's go ahead and connect up our um, our action our method here so I'm gonna do the same thing with the button I'm gonna drag across here I'm gonna drop it 
I'm going to change it from an outlet to an action because these are connected to methods. And I'm going to call um, pressed button. It's going to return a type ID. The event that we can select for that is touch up inside for the proper user interface interaction. And it's going to go ahead and take um, the sender ID that got passed to it that initiated it. And look at that. There is my property. And if we go, if we get rid of our lovely assistant here, go back to our .h file, we can see here's the code that we had. Notice that we just got added. Notice we don't have an IVAR, you know, in the, in the old sense, back in the olden days of six months ago, where we listed our IVARs here. Um, Xcode uh, 4.2 will go ahead behind the scenes and create that IVAR if it doesn't see one for our outlet. And then if we hop over to our .m file, we can see that it generated the synthesize for our label and it also set our outlet to nail on the view did unload and it made our, um, our method for us, our press uh, button method. So let's just, um, let's just go ahead and set the text for our label. So let's do, when the button gets pressed, let's go ahead and um, look at our IVAR, our, our my label, our, our IVAR is called my label, dot text is equal to, uh, let's make it excelme.com. How's that? So when we press the button, um, we go ahead and, um, sorry. I'm talking, typing, and thinking at the same time. That's always a bad thing. And that's why I don't chew gum either while I'm doing this. It would be very scary. Okay, so now let's go ahead and run our app. And let's take a look at it. Our simulator is up and running. Here is our label. It says label. I should have put something here that said button or press. But when I press the button, it changes that to Excel me. We have just a few seconds. Let's go ahead and make that change. I'm going to go ahead and stop the simulator. I'm going to bring up my nib. I'm going to switch over to my utilities just in case I need it. I'm going to set this label a little bit bigger. We're going to talk about um, Apple's human interface guidelines. I always tell my students that you need to download and, re and read App Apple's human interface guidelines. You will learn it one of two ways, the human interface guidelines, which is about 120 pages. You'll learn the HIG um, by reading it and applying the principles before you submit the app to the App Store, or you'll read it after your application gets rejected from the App Store because you didn't follow them. And that's one of the most common reasons for apps getting rejected from the App Store is not following the human interface guidelines. And we'll talk about how next time Xcode provides some nice tools like these alignment buttons here um, in our application. So let's go ahead and, you know what, let's go ahead and just put a placeholder. I think I can, uh, that's going to be on text field. I'm not going to put a placeholder on that right now. All right, let's go ahead and run it. And there we go. All right, for those of you that are attending the YouTube session, I look forward to seeing you in our next session, uh, which will be a um, two weeks from today on Wednesday, every Wednesday night at 6.30 Pacific time, we have this. For those of you that are attending uh, live, I'll be happy to answer this question, any questions in my book, or any questions on your project. All right. Thanks for attending, everybody. I'll let you go, and we'll see you next time. Good night.